Hey, welcome to another Facebook Live event from my home. Dr. Randy here today. Every day we've been talking about one thing that can be helpful while we're quarantined or at least while we're restricted in the things that we can do with this COVID-19. Uh, and I've been thinking about uh, one thing today, about our thinking. You know, the Bible says so much about our thinking. And one of the things I know is that when you and I are transformed by our thinking, it's transformational in our life. Uh, our thinking can either be the greatest asset that we have, if we think straight, if we have thinking that's focused on Christ, focused on the truth, or our thinking can be our worst enemy. I did a, a lesson a number of years ago, and I called it pothole thinking. And uh, sometimes it's possible, like a pothole, to be going along, and then all of a sudden we kind of have the bottom drop out and our thinking starts to go negative. It starts to go um, in, in ways that are destructive to us or to other people. And our thinking is, is different in each person. For some people, the, the thinking is driven by personality. I mean, you know people who just seem to have that positive outlook on life and their thinking seems to always be positive and terrific and wonderful. And other people who tend to be negative. And I was thinking about my mom and dad who are both in heaven now. And my dad was always a very positive thinker. He was one that was, you know, he'd always look at the opportunities and he would correspond with me and, and see opportunities and things that you know, could happen and how God could do different things in, in the work and the ministry. And he was one that was always encouraging. And no matter how bad things would get, uh, he would always say, hey, God's in charge and we're going to make it. If he were alive right now, I know what he'd be saying. He'd be really communicating the fact that you know, it's going to be okay and, and uh, you know, there's opportunities and let's take advantage of them. My mom, on the other hand, uh, who loved Jesus, but she just tended to run in, in negativity with her thinking. She would be focused more on the uh, awfulizing of things that are going on uh, today. And so for some of us, it's more positive. Some of us, it's more negative. And, I, and my wife, Don, and I joke that uh, I have both my dad and my mom in me. Sometimes I can be more positive in my thinking and sometimes negative. So it's not only our personality, but sometimes it's our experiences. Some of you have experienced some really difficult things in your life. And those experiences have, has, have caused you uh, to begin to have thinking, which is taking you away from the truth. Um, and what we tend to do, I use that term awfulize, which is a term we some times use in counseling because we can awfulize things, make them worse than they really are. And so maybe from past experiences, maybe you've been through a, a, a difficult divorce or you've been through an illness or a loss of a job. And that's it's easy for those times to impact how we view life. And for others, it can be just fear, simply have the, the fears in our life that can uh, keep us from thinking straight. Now, during this COVID-19 pandemic, and let's face it, there's a lot of scary things out there. There's a lot of uncertainty and unknowns uh, in life. So I want to encourage you today, and this is not just happy talk or positive talk, it's the truth, that we really focus on what the Apostle Paul says in, in Ephesians chapter 4, where he talks about being renewed in the spirit of our minds, which is really our thinking. And so can I encourage you today that again, we visit this topic of our thinking and really reflect on how we can tell ourselves the truth. Here's some questions you can ask yourself. When you get into a situation, you find yourself starting to move in that negative direction. Ask yourself, is this the truth? Is this honoring to God? Is, is this a truth or is this my own perspective on what's going on? Seeking the truth is always the best thing in our lives. And then to change our mind, can I encourage you to memorize a verse and have it ready when you fall into those negative thoughts that you can focus on? Now, my life verse is uh, Philippians 4.8, and it's probably because of this very issue. I know that my mind can sometimes lead me to be uh, more of a, in a negative uh, frame, which is not good. And I want to change my mindset to be focused on the truth. In Philippians 4.8, where Paul is saying, listen, whatever things are true and right, admirable, praiseworthy of good report, 
think on these things. In other words, we have the ability to decide what we're going to think about. It's our decision. And so my encouragement to you today would be to find that scripture, put it on a card or put it on your phone and put it on a post-it note, but memorize it and make it a part of your life, maybe for the rest of this month. That when you find yourself having your thinking go off direction, away from the truth, away from God's intentional love for you and provision, that you would be reminded, you know, whatever things are true and right and admirable, praiseworthy of good report, think on such things. So that's my one suggestion for you today. I think it's something we can do while we're being intentionally at home. I hope it helps. I appreciate you joining me today here from my home, and I'll be back again tomorrow right here in my home studio with another Facebook Live event. We'll see you then.